What's going on guys, Robert the Prana Bree here, back with another video. I'm in the gym right now and uh, I'm doing shoulders. And I got a few questions a while back about how to properly target the rear delt. So I'm going to show you guys how I do it and uh, the reason why I do that. Alright guys, so when it comes to the rear delts, the most important factor that you want to take in consideration when you do the rear delts is uh, your scapula movement, okay? So a lot of people when they train rear delts, they lock their scapula in a retracted position and when you do this even though you're gonna get a little bit of engagement in your rear delt this way you, you're engaging a lot of your traps so guys that are narrow with massive traps they have a hard time hitting the rear delt because of this okay so if you want to properly target the rear delt you want to lock your scapula forward so you want to protract the scapula and then lock in this position and then from this position you want to bring the weight from the elbow up to here you see how my rear delt is engaged this is the entire range of motion of the rear delt. Forward up to here, and just back here, okay? If I retract my scapula forward more, my trap gets involved. Okay, so you, if you want to isolate the rear delt, which is a small muscle group, you want to go light, and this will allow you to actually properly target it. Because if you go too heavy, you're not going to be able to do this perfect form and properly target the uh, rear delt because the weight is too heavy, so you're going to start engaging the, the traps, and you're going to start doing the swinging movement that you see a lot in the gyms. Okay, so let me demonstrate how you do that. So we have the peg deck here, we're going to do reverse peg deck. And as you saw in my uh, last video, when it comes to shoulders, you want your hip behind the shoulder, okay? So you want to be in this position. This will ensure that your delt is doing most of the work and you're not doing a lot of momentum and swinging and your lower back does most of the work in this case here, okay? So, hips behind the shoulder, and go slightly forward. Come on this side. So, my chest is against this pad. I lean forward, I keep my core tight. And now from this position, I'm gonna protract my shoulder. So I'm not here, I'm protracted, okay? So as you can see, my, my rear delt right now is slightly engaged. So now mentally, I'm gonna pull from my elbow, okay? Retract the, protract the scapula, up to here. That's it, that's it. Go forward and back. Right now, my rear delt is doing most of the work. Right there. See that? That's full range of motion for the rear delt. Forward, and then back, up to here. If I move more back, this way, right now my traps are involved. Okay, so I want to eliminate the traps. So, protract the scapula, lock it in this position, and now pull from the elbows, back, up to here. That's full range of motion. Alright guys, and for the rear delts, I like to go light and uh, high volume. So I probably do like 10 sets. Or maybe a little bit less, maybe around eight sets total for the rear delt, uh, with the rep ranges between 12 to 20 reps. All right, thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video and you found this video helpful and useful, please like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Turn my music.